So now we're going to try and choose something that's moving a little bit faster. So this is going to be a spot of black snake. So first thing I'm doing is determining about the size of the tube I'm going to need, which will be that one. And so to get him into a tube, pick a tube that's a bit bigger than he needs, which will be this one. So first things first, I'll try him with that one. If it doesn't work, then I'll put him into this one. It's really critical that you get the right size snake tube because if you use the wrong size snake tube, what ends up happening is the snake can turn around inside the tube. So, do this spot a black snake. Yep. Sometimes it's as easy as that. Straight up inside the tube. What you do is you make sure you grab the snake and the tube together like so and you hold them together. At that point in time, you're gonna either look to probe the snake or anything like that, um, photograph the tail, count ventral scales, take blood samples, all sorts of things. And there's a couple of ways you can let them out of the tube, but one of the other things you might be able to do too is you need to look at eye caps and stuff like that. You can actually let the snake travel out through the end of the tube once he's just out of the tube like so, then you can hold on to him. And then at that point in time, you can have a good close look at the head and see what's going on.